A Gahanna woman continues to fight in the hospital after she was intentionally set on fire more than a year and a half ago. As a law proposed to strengthen penalties in cases just like hers moves to the legislature, Judy Malinowski's family now says they're coming to a fork in the road. NBC4's Olivia Fecto spoke to Judy's mother today at the burn unit. She's live at OSU's Wexter Medical Center tonight with our continuing coverage. Olivia? Ellie and Mark, it's hard to even imagine what Judy Malinowski has been through. She's undergone 60 surgeries now, and her mother says at this point they are in a very tough spot. With the final House committee hearing for Judy's law scheduled for next week, the family is still hoping Judy's pain can make a difference. House Bill 63 should be passed because it's destroyed my life my family's life, my kids' life. That was Judy Malinowski a few weeks ago, just before the first hearing on Judy's law. Today, she was too sick for us to visit, but we spoke with her mother, Bonnie, on the ninth floor burn unit at OSU's Wexner Medical Center. She has kind of slipped down a spiral hill. Um, we're trying to see if we can pull her back up from it. Judy has been through 60 surgeries since August 2015 when she was doused in gasoline and set on fire. Since then, her recovery has been a long and painful process. Right now, her mother says they're at a fork in the road. We're either going to have to make a choice to let God and nature take its choice or hopefully she'll pull out of it and um, <clears throat> she'll be able to move forward. I can't tell you from a mom's perspective. What that's like, no matter the outcome. For now, the family continues to fight alongside Judy and hopes House Bill 63, Judy's law, will be passed to strengthen penalties for defendants in cases like hers. She said, not even an ant should endure this. Not even a, a worm should endure, you know, what I've endured. And, and mom, we, we have to save, you know, someone. NBC4 viewers have sent in tons of cards for Judy. We gave those to her mother, Bonnie, today. You'll hear her message to our NBC4 viewers coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live at Wexner Medical Center, Olivia Fecto, NBC4. Olivia, thank you. And we set up the Judy Malinowski Fund to help Judy and her family. All the proceeds go to her family's living and medical expenses. You can go to any Huntington Bank branch and tell them you'd like to donate to the Judy Malinowski Fund. There is also a GoFundMe page for Judy. Judy and her family. There is a link on our website, NBC4i.com.